Short exercise 5-3, we're going to journalize purchase transactions, which will include a purchase return and a shipping charge. And then our final task will be to calculate how much the inventory actually cost us. So consider the following transactions for Burlington Drug Store. So we have this box, but this information is also repeated right down here. So we really don't need this box right now. Journalize the purchase transactions. Explanations are not required. Assume the company uses a perpetual inventory system. Round the answers to the nearest whole dollar. Record debits before credits. So let me move this up so we can get more on the screen. So February 2nd. Burlington purchased $23,800 worth of inventory on account with credit terms of 215 net 30 FOB shipping point from Green Medical Supplies. So the credit terms, of course, means they gonna, they will save 2% if they pay within 15 days, 15 days of February 2nd. Otherwise, the net amount is due within 30 days. And what does FOB shipping point mean? Just as a reminder, FOB shipping point means the buyer pays shipping. So we're going to be doing the transactions for the buyer in this short exercise. All right, Burlington purchased $23,800 worth of inventory. So let's talk about the inventory account. Remember, the inventory account is an asset account, therefore it increases on the left side. So do we have more or less inventory. We have more inventory, so I'm going to increase the inventory account, merchandise inventory, by 23800 And because we're going to um, need to know the balance of inventory later, I'm going to put it also in here. So you should be doing this on a piece of scratch paper. I'm doing it in Excel because it's easier for me to read and there's no really way, no real way for me to do um, handwriting on these videos. All right. So did we pay cash for these or do we buy them on account? It says we bought them on account. That means AP is involved. AP is a liability. It increases on the right side. So I'm also going to put this here, 23800 because I'm going to later have to calculate the balance of AP. So AP is increasing by 23,800. AP, copy and paste. Check our answer. Awesome. Now, February 4th, two days later, Burlington paid $50 freight charge. Why did Burlington, that's us, why did we have to pay the freight? Because it's FOB shipping point, which means since we are the buyer, FOB shipping point means the buyer pays shipping. So then the question becomes, well, let's start with cash first. Let's, let's, I always like to start with the easiest account to, to figure out. Which way is cash going? Cash is going down. So cash is an asset, so it goes down on the credit side. So I'm going to lower cash, and I have to put it on the second line because debits go first. All right, so what's the debit account? So how are we going to classify this $50 freight? Well, that's just part of the cost of the inventory. So we're going to increase the cost of inventory by $50. So if you buy something, something being inventory, so if you buy inventory, Let's say the inventory costs you $5,000 and you had to pay $100 shipping. The $100 shipping is just part of the cost of getting that inventory to you and getting it ready to be sold. So it's part of the cost of inventory. And since I have to later keep track of the balance of inventory, let me go to my February 4th transaction. Shipping also called freight, is increasing the cost of inventory. So how much does inventory cost us? So far, 23850 All right. Next, Burlington return 
$5,200 of merchandise due to damage during shipment. All right, so what's happening to our inventory account when we return $5,200 of it? Well, the inventory account is going down. So let me switch to February 9th here. So this is a return. The return is lowering our balance of inventory. So because this is a credit, I'm going to just go ahead and do that first. Inventory going down 5,200. All right, and then what is the other account? Well, remember we purchased this inventory on account. So what's going to happen to our AP? AP has to go down by the same amount. So over here for, for the return, I'm going to put $5,200 and I'm going to decrease AP. 5,200. Let me switch back to Excel. Hit enter. So our new balance is 18,600. We don't need the balance yet, but we will need it later. All right, February 14th, Burlington paid the amount due, less the return and the discount. So let's see if we make sure we get the discount. We bought it on February 2nd up here and we need to pay it within 15 days. So did we pay it within 15 days? It's now February 14th, yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna get the 2% discount. But first, let's start off with figuring out how much AP we owe. So remember, AP on your scratch paper, you should have the purchase of 23,800, which increased it, but then we return some. So we owe the balance. So our balance of AP at this point on February 14th is $18,600. So notice it says we paid the amount due. So what happens to this balance, $18,600 balance, when we pay it off? We have to get rid of this because it's gonna be zero. So how do we get rid of a, of a credit balance? We need to debit AP for 18,000 600, 18,600. So AP is going down by that amount. So if we owe 18,600, but we're going to get a 2% discount, according to this up here, well, let's figure out how much we owe. So the calculation is 18,600 times 0 0.02, that's 2%. So we're gonna save $372. So I need to subtract 372 from 18,600. So 18,600 minus the discount of 372 equals 18,228. All right, now this, uh, let me put it in cash. Now this doesn't balance, does it? So without even thinking about what the balancing account is, we can figure out what the balance is. It's the discount. So we take 18,600 minus what we pay, gives us that $372 discount. And then what account does that go to? Well, remember, let's look at our T account for inventory. When we pay off inventory, excuse me, when we pay inventory early and get a discount, it's going to lower the cost of inventory. It's not lowering the quantity of inventory, it's just lowering the cost. So up here where we have the $5,200 return, this is lowering both the cost and the quantity. So just for your information in accounting systems, computerized accounting systems, the accounting system keeps track of the quantity behind the scenes. So we don't do that with a journal. Anyway, so this $372 represents the cost of inventory going down. So that's why I am crediting inventory. So how much do we owe, or what's the balance of our inventory now? 18278 So I can check our answer. Awesome. 
So now a lot of people, a lot of students get confused about this. So when we bought pay early and we get a discount on our purchase, that discount amount lowers the cost of inventory. All right, now our final question is, in the final analysis, how much did the inventory cost Burlington? So here's how you technically calculate the cost of inventory. The net cost of inventory purchase equals the purchase cost of inventory, which is a 23,800, 23, minus returns and allowances, minus a $5,200 return, minus a purchase discount, so minus 372, plus freight in, which is also called shipping. So these two minus these two gives us a balance of 18,278. 18,278. So that's it. And if you really want to be a completist and complete this exactly, you would post this 18,600 on the left side of AP to give us a balance of zero.